In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to include Housemate in a Z-Wave network and how to program it to control some Z-Wave sockets. So we're using a Z-Stick as the network controller. And it's a very simple device. There's a button on it that you can use to include and exclude devices from its Z-Wave network. So the first thing we have to do is we have to add Housemate to the Z-Wave network and we press the button to go into include mode. And then in the click to phone app in Housemate, we go to advanced and Z-Wave direct settings. And if your Housemate is fitted with a Z-Wave module, you can include it and you should see the blue light on the Z-Stick flashing, indicating that it has been added to its network. So that's that. The housemate has been added to the Z-Wave network. Now we've already included this Z-Wave socket. We no longer need the Z-Stick. In fact, all the further programming uh, will be done through the app to make associations between the housemate and the Z-Wave appliances. So the Z-Stick is only required to add devices to the Z-Wave network. So we go into a new grid and we'll configure a button. We will use the wizard to create a new command and we'll go for switches and sockets and we'll choose a socket symbol and give it a name socket one. Okay, now this button doesn't do anything yet. We have to program it. So to program it, we see now when we hold on the button that we have an option called Z-Wave Wizard. And there's some information about how to use the wizard. We'll choose continue. The first thing is to choose is to create a new group. In the Z-Wave Direct uh, appliances or gathered into different groups so we will create a new group and we will use the command name which is socket for this new group the next step is to choose what happens to this group of z-wave devices and we're going to toggle on and off the device so in many cases a group will actually just have one appliance in it but it can have up to eight the next step then is to add a device to the group. So you do that by pressing the identify button or sometimes called the include button on the appliance that you want to include in this group association that is stored in the housemate. So we'll choose add device and then press our include button. Now we can check that now by pressing the button and there it's turned it on and it's turned it off. So that's one device included. The next step we will take is to add a second socket. Now this socket has not been added to this network before. So we will need our Z stick. And it's often very useful to remove a device from the previous network that it was possibly uh, associated with. So to do that we press and hold the button until the yellow light flashes on the Z stick and that's we're in exclude mode and then we identify the socket we want to exclude and we get a, a feedback there on the Z stick that uh, it was excluded correctly. But now we want to include that socket in this Z wave network so we pressed the include button and we identify and the blue light flashed on the Z-Stick indicating that it has been added to its network. So now we can go and program another button. We'll choose the wizard. Um, socket 2 we'll say. And 
we go to the Z-Wave wizard, we create a new group, toggle on off for the action, add device, and now we can test the socket. When you're testing the button, you always need to do it twice in case the button was in the state that uh, you've just requested. With Z-Wave Direct, there is no feedback to the app on the state of the sockets. So there's the socket going off and there's the socket going on. So we'll create a third group now, which will contain both sockets. Z-Wave Wizard, continue, a new group, both, and toggle on off again, and we'll add device. So we can just test that, that's the first device added to our group. So you can see that this socket belongs to two groups now, it belongs to this group, and it belongs to this group. We just get the names of the buttons up here to make it clearer. Okay, so now we're going to add the other socket. Z-Wave Wizard. Um, this time we're already on the group both. We're not creating a new group. Next step, we will stick with toggle on off and then add device, add our second device. So we've added a second device to that group and they're both going on and they're both going off. So the beauty about Z-Wave Direct is that we no longer need the gateway and these sockets could be brought to another location, for example, into work or school or holidays and the housemate can operate them directly 